Hi, this is Supreme Decisions, and today I wanted to come to you with another episode of Bad Officer. This is a series where I'm going to go into the context of challenging police statements or putting police officers on trial, because this is the only way we are going to be able to take into our own hands an instance of taking back and creating good policing. Well, today's bad officer is Deputy Benjamin Jacquet. I want to put his name up and his photo so you can actually see him. He's out of Laramie County, Wyoming. Now, the reason why I'm going to bring this up is because I want you to understand the context of everything that goes into it. I want you to listen. And I also want you to pay attention. Because when you're talking about certain things, the certain actions, it gives way to the knowing that there are misrepresentations and we're also being lied to about certain instances and this one is going to give us an action to where we're able to not only see but challenge not only this action but every other action previous and since he's still working every other action afterwards so if you've ever been confronted stopped or involved in a legal action with Laramie County Wyoming Deputy Benjamin Jacquet you might want to watch this video and pay attention to what's being said and also understanding the violations so you yourself can have an opportunity to challenge him in court, period. Now, on February 15, 2022, Deputy Benjamin Jacquet violated police use of force on a disabled eight-year-old. Yes, I did say that, a disabled eight-year-old by physically assaulting and profusely bleeding or bloodying the second grader without being called for service. Because you know how people say, well, well, I was called to be here. He was not called for service. And like I said, he's still employed. Now, by this action being on video, by this officer admitting, because I'm going to go into that, it makes the school the district, the police chief, Brian Kozak, complicit in the act. Therefore, these are actors in concert and liable, as well as Freedom Elementary School in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Benjamin Jacquet deleted portions of his body cam footage. You know, I'm going to get into that because I talked to you once before, mens rea. Because if he did the right thing, why would he have to hide any of it? Illustrating by deleting portions of that body cam footage, he illustrated a willful knowledge of a guilty action. I'm gonna say that one more time by deleting portions of the body cam footage, mens rea. That is an act illustrating willful knowledge of a guilty act, thus leaving him and those that who allowed it, the school, the district, the police chief, without qualified immunity. Because they excused his action. Benjamin Jacquet failed to do the most important thing as a police officer. You know, gather information prior to acting. You know, the totality of circumstances, the one qualification of his job that he must do. Benjamin Jacquet never bothered with finding out exactly what was going on when he was acting after not being called to serve now, Benjamin, Benjamin Jacquet's actions are the epitome of the low IQ that I talked about, the train attack dog mentality, which I speak of constantly, not one that is good for law enforcement because a bad officer is a nightmare for a good one because he willfully violated police policy, a citizen's God-given right, and his own oath to protect law. Actors, not fascist Ramos, Nasi, menti, illicit. The act does not make one guilty unless the mind is also guilty. That is intent, the deleting of the body camage footage. Accessing the student's private and school protected record without authorization. Basically, he hacked into this young man, this eight year old's. He hacked into this eight year old's school records. He hacked into this eight year old medical records. Whoops. Aren't those HIPAA violations? Aren't those privacy violations? Aren't those 
without authorization? And when asked why the 280 pound man assaulted the 60 pound 80 year old, Benjamin Jacque was quoted as saying, because as a law enforcement officer, that is my primary function, end quote. Y'all remember me saying stuff like that? Even my boy, when he talked about the breaking of the arms of the students at the AU Center during COVID, he was doing what he was trained to do. Not enforce law, not gather information to make an informed decision, but to act and to harm, doing what he was trained to do. Because as a law enforcement officer, his words, that is his primary function, to act and to harm. Even though Wilmington's law restricts the use of prone restriction of a child in school, thus making this action by the still employed excused behavior of this coward criminal. Wyoming law restricts the use of prone restrictions on a child in school, which made his act criminal, which now you get to illustrate their actors in concert because the school, Freedom Elementary in Cheyenne, Wyoming, the district, which is District 1 in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and the police chief, Brian Kozak, complicit in his act because Wyoming law says he can't do what he did to an eight-year-old, but he's still employed. Brian Kozak, act does not fascist ramus, nasi mente illicit. The act does not make one guilty unless the mind is also guilty. While not accepting any responsibility, the guilty act, Chief Brian Kozak suspended the program that Benjamin was part of. Uh-oh. Because it lacked best practice policy. That action itself is an admission of officer negligence at the very least. The exercise of officer incompetence, which relieves everyone involved of qualified immunity. If you've ever had an interaction with Deputy Benjamin Jacquet in hell anywhere, but let's go with Lemme County, Wyoming, challenge it. Past, future, present, challenge it because he is a bad officer. He did it once. He doesn't know law and he's still employed. They're okay with his actions. The parents, I hope you're watching this because this is also giving you the grounds because they are showing accepted. They're showing accepted liability, just like I showed you in Dallas. When I showed you the actions in Dallas was criminal, it was accepted. Why? Because their own words. This is how you use their words against them in a court of law, which is federal court. This is how you get the bad officers out of the police force because you challenge them. This is how you go after their post officer certifications. They don't deserve to be cops because those uniforms are meant for intelligent and courageous men and women.